Crnog ambasadorskog foruma. Imamo zadovoljstvo da slušamo predavanje ambasadora Kraljevine Maroko u Republici Srbiji, njegove ekscelencije Muhameda Belhaja, a kroz forum će nas voditi moj dragi kolega Mihajlo Vučić. Dođe. And our colleagues, uh, we are pleased to have one more edition of Ambassador's Forum today. And uh, for the first time, Ambassador of Morocco will be our host guest. And it's tradition here in the Forum, it's half guest, half host role for the Embassy. Uh, he will present us uh, some open questions concerning Moroccan foreign policy, as the topic is actually conceived, as you can see also on our projector, uh, priorities, initiatives and challenges. There are a lot of them, as uh, Ambassador and I have shortly spoken before the start, uh, from climate change, terrorism and migrations connected with it. Uh, so I hope this will be a very interesting lecture for you and uh, that you can also, after the lecture finishes, participate in the discussion and maybe even ask some questions which will put our Ambassador in difficulties to answer them. And economics, particularly its president and his professional team for his hosting this presentation that I hope will be informative and interactive. I will start with a brief introduction, introduction on Morocco's history, its asset, and the numerous reforms it carried out since the enthronement of His Majesty King Mohammed VI. For those who are not very familiar with uh, Morocco, I uh, would like to say that it is a kingdom located on the northwest tip of the African continent, extending 3,000 kilometers along the Atlantic Ocean and around 500 of the Mediterranean Sea, 14 from Gibraltar. A real bridge between Africa and Europe with a great cultural, ethnic and religious diversity. Morocco is one of the oldest nations in the world and its history as a country has continued for the past 12 centuries when the first Moroccan dynasty, the Idrisid, established their capital first in 788. Ruled the country until 1665, when the In the field of human rights promotion and social reform, the last five years have brought the most of the democratic progress in Morocco. Economy remains strong and relies mainly on exports, foreign direct investment in the previous year. So 2.37 billion dollars the three largest investors are France, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. Foreign direct investment is mainly concentrated in real estate, distribution, and manufacturing. And Morocco continued its progression in the 2017 Doing Business Ranking, published by the World Bank, 68 out of 180 countries. After this brief introduction to Morocco, I would like to share with you some key aspects of Moroccan diplomacy and its priority areas. Of course, the resolution of the Moroccan Sahara issue remains the top priority of Moroccan diplomacy. In addition, the, the diversification of partnerships and participation of peacekeeping and security in the world. I would like to recall that Morocco's occupation took place in, in stages. Before the project, as a part of the implementation of advanced regionalization policy to carry out 